Hello guys. Good morning. Welcome to another topic in electrical circuits one. It is uh, super superposition theorem. Superposition theorem states that the uh, the current through or voltage across an element in a linear bilateral network is equal to the algebraic sum of the currents and or voltages produced independently by each source. So when doing the superposition, we replace the voltage source by a short circuit like this. While the current source, we replace it with an open circuit. So for the voltage source, we replace it by a short circuit. On the other hand, we replace the current source with an open circuit. So let us try to solve sample problem number one. Consider the circuit below and determine the current flowing in R sub 1, R sub 2, and R sub 3. So we are asked to solve the current flowing in resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor 3. So to do that, uh, let us consider to the 28 volt voltage source alone. So we have to short circuit the other voltage source, the 7 volts, and the circuit is redrawn as below. So as you can see, we remove or turn off the, the seven volt source. So now uh, the circuit will look like this. So to solve for the currents, first we have to solve for the total resistance first. So as you can see, R sub two and R sub three are, uh, R sub two is parallel to R sub three. So using our equation for a parallel resistor, the product divided by sum. So two multiplied by one divided by two plus one. And you will get 0 0.67 ohms. And so the circuit will be reduced like this. Uh, resistor one is obviously parallel uh, series to resistor two, three, which is 0 0.67. So again, the formula for a series circuit is the sum of two resistors. So R sub one is uh, four ohms and R sub two three is 0 0.67. So a total of 4.67 ohms. Then we can solve for the total current. The total current from ohms law is equals to the total voltage divided by total resistance, which is 28 volts divided by 4.67 ohms. And we will get uh, six amperes. So these six amperes uh, will flow to resistor one, then which is also equals to I sub one. So let's name the current flowing in R sub one as I, I sub one. So when this current I sub one enter I node like here, so what will happen? I sub one will be divided into two uh, currents, which is I sub two, I sub 2 is the current flowing to resistor 2 and I sub 3 is the current flowing in resistor 3. So using current divider rule, uh, assume you, you want to solve for I sub 2 first, the equation will be I sub 1, the current entering the network, then multiply by the, resist, the opposite resistor, which is R sub 3, divided by the sum of the resistor in network, which is R sub 2 plus R sub 3. So substituting all the values, I sub 1 is 6, R sub 3 is 1, divided by the value of R sub 2, which is 2 ohms plus 1. Therefore, you will get uh, 6 multiplied by 1 is 6 divided by 3 is 2 amperes. So to get the value of I sub 3, you simply subtract the value of I sub 2 from I sub 1. So that is uh, 6 ampere minus 2 ampere, and you will get I sub 3 is equals to 4 ampere. So to summarize, I sub to, uh, total current, which is also equal to I sub 1, that is 6 amperes going to the right. I sub 2 is 2 amperes going down, and I sub 3 direction is going, which is 4 ampere going to the right. Now let us consider the uh, seven volt uh, voltage source alone. So we're going to short circuit the 
28 volt uh, supply. So what will happen is like this. So after that, you, we will notice that R sub 1 and R sub 2 are in parallel. So if they are in parallel, then we're going to use the formula for uh, parallel circuit. So R sub 1, 2, let's call this R12, is equals to the product 4 times 2 divided by the sum of the 2. That is 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 8 divided by 6, you will get 1.33 ohms. Then we will reduce the the circuit will be reduced like this. Here is our R12, R sub 12, which is equals to 1.33, and R sub 3 is 1 ohm. So obviously, this R sub 1, 2, and R sub 3 is in series. Therefore, we're going to use the uh, series formula. So we simply add the 2, 1.33 plus 1, that is equals to 2.33 ohms. So again, Solve for the total current. The total current will be 7 volts divided by the total resistance, which is 2.33, and we will get uh, 3 amperes for the total ampere. The total ampere is, uh, we can place the total ampere here, which will flow to resistor 3, which is also equals to I sub 3, because I sub 3 is the current flowing in the resistor 3. When this I sub 3 uh, enter the node here, the same thing will happen to the previous example. Uh, I sub 3 will be divided into I sub 1 and I sub 2. I sub 1 is the current flowing in the resistor sub 1 or resistor 1 and I sub 2 is the current flowing to resistor 2. So again, using current divider rule, assuming we want to solve I sub 1 first, that will be the current entering the node, multiply by the resistor opposite to the resistor of the network. Then R, I sub 3 that multiply by R sub 2 divided by R sub 1 plus R, R sub 2. Since I sub 3 is equals to 3 amperes, multiply by 2 divided by 4 plus 2, that is 6 divided by 6, and I sub 1 is equals to 1 ampere. So to get the value of I sub 2, we simply subtract uh, I sub 1 from the value of I sub 3. So that is uh, 3 ampere minus 1 ampere, then we will get I sub 2 is equals to 2 ampere. So to summarize the, the currents coming from the 7 volt source, I sub 1 is equals to 1 ampere going to the left, I sub 2 is equals to 2 ampere in downward direction, I sub total or which is equals to I sub 3 is equals to 3 amperes going to the left. So to summarize again, with 28 volt battery, the following current uh, I sub 1 is equals to 6 ampere to the right, I sub 2 is equals to 2 ampere downward, I sub 3 is equals to 4 amperes to the right also. Uh, with 7 volt battery, I sub 1 is 1 ampere going to the left, I sub 2 is 2 ampere going downward, or I sub total, which is equals to I sub 3, 3 amperes, then going to the left. So getting the al algebra exam, <coughs> 6 amperes, since 6 amperes, I sub 1, 6 amperes going to the right, and I sub 1 from the 7 volt is going to the left, then we have to subtract it, and the direction of the current is going to the right, which is 5 ampere. The same thing goes with I sub 2, since they are both uh, down, in downward direction, so we have to add algebraically. So 2 amperes plus 2 amperes, that is equals to 4 amperes going down. On the I sub 3, it's the same thing. Since I sub 3 from the 28 volt battery is going to the right, and the I sub 3 from 7 volt source is 3 ampere going to the left, then we will subtract uh, 3 ampere from the 4 ampere. So we will get uh, 1 ampere going to the right in the dire right direction. So to summarize, uh, the circuit will be like this. R sub 1, the current flowing in R sub 1, which is I sub 1, is equals to 5 ampere. The current flowing in uh, R sub 2, which is I sub 2, is equals to 4 ampere. 
And the current flowing in resistor 3 is 1 ampere, which is we call uh, IC3. So that's the superposition theorem works. So thank you very much. And that's all. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell button so that uh, you will receive uh, videos like this. So thank you.